George is going to empty the tank. He understands. He understands that he could be gassed a little. He's on the back. Give up the back. It's over. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over. George St. Pierre has done it. Welcome to UFC 217. He left the sport as the UFC welterweight champion on top, if not on top of his game, but George St. Pierre was very careful to not use the word retirement. Four years have passed. In that time, Michael Bisping has become the UFC's all-time wins leader and the UFC's middleweight champion. Bisping believes tonight, if he can turn back a returning George St. Pierre, he will stamp himself one of the greatest to ever do it. Johnny Big Rick Hendricks. Taking on Paolo Costa, Hendricks in blue, Costa is in blue. They look like they're separated by two weight classes. If you're Hendricks, what you cannot do is go along the side of the octagon, because once his kid traps you, he just really lets all of his strikes go. Yeah, last thing Johnny's looking for is a way out, hanging tough. Oh, and he went high. And this is now the longest pro oh, fight of Paolo Costa's hurt. career. He's hurt. Might end here shortly. But Johnny's guys, still firing Johnny's still back. Firing back. But look at Costa, the young guy, not just headhunting here, going to the ball. Oh, that's it, that's it. That's Whoa! It. Paolo Costa oh, does it again. Oh, it. Johnny oh, Hendricks, his latest okay. victory. Wow. And this is a force to be reckoned with. You gotta think this guy is surfacing on the middleweight radar after that performance here tonight. Uh, yeah, and I gotta tell you, I was really impressed with the heart of Johnny Hendricks. Yeah. All right, you ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go, fight. Against the plus 155 underdog Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Thompson in gray. Masvidal coming out orthodox. He's in black. Masvidal refusing to tap. The tap of gloves. At the beginning of the fight. And look at that weird stance of Wonder Boy. Sideways, right in front of you. And Masvidal trying that front leg side kick to check the front leg of Wonder Boy. Very accurate and, very, and extremely well-rounded. And that's, that's what's weird, those front leg sidekicks that you just don't expect. And you don't expect someone to have the ability that he has. Like when he fakes to the body and goes up high like that. And he did that to Johnny Hendricks. And you can see Hendricks getting very frustrated in that fight. Masvidal just covered up and walking forward. Does not respect the power of Wonder Boy. Oh, he just took a left hook there though. Oh. Well, I think Masvidal understands that he has to throw himself into the fire in yes. order to be successful here. Masvidal attacks the body again. Thompson returns fire. So a nice display of respect there. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal go the distance. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. If they've been excited about us calling them before, they're going to have a good time now because I'm pumped. Are you ready? I can't wait for these three. Let's go. Here we go. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC strawweight champion. Ioanni and Jacek wearing the black and gold befitting a champion. Rose Namajunas is in blue. Last four defenses for the champ have all been by unanimous decision, but you got to be careful hanging out in the pocket against Ioan Jacek. Well, Rose. Oh! Oh! Another knockdown. Namajunas trying to close the show. She was doing a great job of feint. That is it. It's over. Oh, oh, Rose Namajunas. Rose, Rose oh, Namajunas. The Rose. The Rose. Unbelievable. The Rose. There is a new strawway queen. The Rose with the feint. The hook. So here we go. 25 right, so minutes if needed. TJ Dillashaw, Cody Let's Garbrandt, go one of, if not the biggest UFC bandway championship fight this octagon has ever hosted. Garbrandt in the black and gold of a champion, TJ Dillashaw, switching stances as usual as in blue. TJ has a remarkable ability to be calm in big fights. And you saw that in the Hen and Burrell fight. He came out fighting Burrell like he was sparring, very loose and relaxed, and he looks that way now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! He's there! Ball breaks down! Dillashaw trying to finish this fight! And it! Wow! TJ Dillashaw has done it! Dillashaw now a two-time UFC Bantamweight champion! He wrests the belt away from Cody Garbrandt! And this rivalry...
rivalry may not be ending anytime soon. Cody goes over to shake hands. A brief embrace. Oh, but wow. TJ Co Dillashaw Cody's is the hunted stuck. again. Very few people sitting in this building. You can feel right, we go. the buzz, the tension in this Madison Square Garden. UFC Middleweight Championship fight underway. Bisping wearing the black and gold. George St. Pierre in gray. Back on that high crotch. Bisping doing a great job of actually getting his hips, feet on the hips right away. Nope, he can't settle here. Good elbows on the bottom from Bisping. But he still can't settle on the bottom. It allows St. Pierre to not only control him, but to rest a little bit. Right. He's fighting in the positions that he's very comfortable. Well, he had to be expected that the early shot from St. Pierre would be coming in round three, unable to stop it. Bisping is trying to set up an arm. He's trying to hold on to the right arm of George St. Pierre. He's cut. St. Pierre's Mark. cut. Bad. Those elbows from the bottom can be nasty.